What's up, guys? I'm your host, Steven, joined by my co-host, Gat Cuz. Hashtag 40 Acre Addicts coming at you, man. Hit that like button, and remember, at 1,000 subscribers, we will be giving one of you out there. It's Kobe Jones Club. What's up, Gat? What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a pleasant for Sunday. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's a hot one in West Texas. Oh, man. So me and Gat got some big news, but I better say Gat has some big news he'd like to announce to everybody. Oh, uh, we will be attending the first night game at the new with the new South End Zone. Oh, yeah. That's going to be live in the bitch. Oh, man. I can't wait to see that thing lit up. And we're back at full capacity. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be loud. It's gonna be live. Very much so. There's a fly all around this room right now. I keep getting these flies in this garage, man. It's just Texas, Texas summer, man. It's just oh, I hate flies. They drive me crazy. Man, what episode is cat poop? Huh? One is the flies. Yeah, one of them cat food, now it's flies. I guess they're coming for the left, leftovers of cat food. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Robert was supposed to be in this video today, but he's asleep. He's not here. So. Oh, I got something I wanted to bring up to you. Henry? What's that? Um, you know Texas gets ridiculed all the time. I brought up one of my other videos, but I just know you haven't. Me and you haven't discussed it yet. Uh, Texas, is, you know, we get really ridiculed all the all, ridiculed all the time for the last eleven years. You know, for not winning the conference since '09. You know, the last time A and M won a conference. I don't know if my calculator puts up numbers like that. 1998. Really? You got graduated high school? Yeah, like, it's been almost three decades since y'all have even won a conference championship. Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut, little brother, because we're coming back into that conference real quick. Bro, there's nothing they can do. Nothing, man. It's gonna be awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. I think, I think they're, I think they're nervous. I think that's why they leaked that news, honestly. Jimbo Fisher versus Steve Sarkeesian. Let's do it. Let's go. And for the longest, we thought it was gonna be Herman versus Jimbo. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm just glad we got Thanksgiving back, bro. I know Thanksgiving's back coming in 2022. Mm. Thanksgiving is going to be lit again. Like, yeah. Like, I want Hudson and, and Casey Thompson, whoever gets that starting job, you know, win a conference, go on to the next level, and let's get Malik in here to start out that first 2022 year because we don't get Arch until 2023. So. I don't know, man. Did you hear about Quinners? Yeah. Yeah. He graduate. He's graduating early and going ahead and, and getting on campus at Ohio State. Yeah. Well, I think Not he even just playing the senior season. I think he just found the title of our uh, our episode. Quinn Ewers. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's that's insane. I mean, it's I like him doing that better than I do. What was it, Jaden Blue sitting out his senior season? I, yeah, I think if anything, do what Quinn Ewers did, graduate early, and, and sit out your senior season that way, and that way you're sitting out at your college. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I, I like I like I like his idea on that. Hold on one second. Especially the quarterbacks, man. That's the that's the roughest spot on the team, man. Ask Colt McCoy. Man got hammered. Technical difficulties. 
So I got a question then. Do you think Malik starts next year coming in as a freshman? Or do you think he should redshirt? Negative. I think Hudson Carter will start next year after Casey Thompson wins us the Big 12 championship this year. I mean, do you think he'll want to sit out and take the risk knowing that we got Arch Manny coming in too? Uh, I, I don't know. Look, look at his social media presence. As soon as he steps foot on campus, he's going to start making money. Arch? No, Malik. Oh, Malik. Oh, I know. Yeah. Both of them. As soon as he sets foot on, I mean, he probably don't even set foot on. I don't know what the rules are, but that boy's going to make money. So I don't think it's going to be He's that big of a deal. He's already making money. <laughs> I, I, Hudson, though, I see him playing for us two years at least. I mean, I'm just saying a lot of these kids come from poor backgrounds. You know, me and you both know this, but, uh, How how does a kid with, from a poor background go to all of these elite elevens, these wide receiver camps, these just these? And they, where's where's Malik been the last eight months? All over the country, training with people all over the country. Like every time we we hear that boy, he's somewhere else. Yeah, speaking of that, uh, yeah, think about uh, your high school here. days. Your star player in high school were they doing that? No, Ooh. they were playing right there at school. Yeah. What were you going to say though? That was my bad. Uh, uh, Troy O'Meara. Two weeks ago, guess who he was working out with? Who? DeAndre Hopkins. Wow, that is. That's a man. Get Does off that put a smile on your face? Well, I know what receiver is going to be the star this year. <laughs> Just Does saying. That put a smile on your face that year. <laughs> you got you got the best receiver in the league right now. That's my opinion. I stand by it. Fight me. <laughs> not you, get One of them out there. Say say DeAndre Hopkins is not the best receiver in the league and you tell me who you take in his place and I'm just saying it beforehand you're a fool <laughs> there is not a better I, receiver I'm, I'm just saying everybody keeps worrying about our wide receivers and pass blocking but I don't I don't foresee it as a problem I don't either I think no, I, that's why Texas isn't addressing it because they're doing just like uh, uh, CDC told you when Chris Del Conte talked to you he said that uh that uh, we're gonna keep keep the brakes on everything until the season started, and then yep. the gas is gonna be on each. You know, keep the brakes pumped until that first game. Yep, and if the opposer ain't ready to go, they yeah. finna get beat by a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd love to get an interview with that man. That would be awesome. Like that would be better than than the interviews with the players and stuff. I feel like a Chris Del Conte interview, we, we, shoo, we've, we've achieved the highest goal we can in what we do. <laughs> right. Okay. I just, man, I just want, I want a 3-0 and start so bad. 4-0. Oh. So bad. Four, uh, no, 5-0 and oh, because we want to go into OU undefeated. Yeah, totally, but as far as non-conference, I, I want to go undefeated non-conference for once and forever, you know? Shoot. Yeah. Let's go into conference with a high head, not a, a hurt heart. Yeah, because we never, last year we didn't really have but that one non-conference game, so it doesn't count, and then all the other years, Herman fucking was never could stay undefeated in a non-conference. Couldn't do it. I don't think Charlie Strong could either. <laughs> I mean, I'd have to actually look at the records, to, so don't quote me on that, but it's been a while. They love, they love Charlie Strong. But like they said, he's, he was a horrible coach. Horrible, horrible head coach.
Charlie Strong, man. There's nothing about that man that won <laughs> anything. That Notre Dame game was luck. <laughs> <coughs> It just, it'd be so nice going into conference undefeated. Let's go. Very much so. Very much so. We go, like I said, we go, we go 7-0. and We win Oklahoma State after Oklahoma, and we get to our bye week. I think, I think the Kansas game, or I, we might not be Kansas. We do have an easy game, I believe, coming out, out of the bye week. And then we have to play Iowa State. But that easy game will just help ramp us up into the Iowa State game. And Iowa State shouldn't be as much of a problem as everybody thinks they're going to be if, if it goes that way. I mean, even then it's still going to be tough because, like they said, every away game this season, we're fixing to get it get everybody's best. Everybody's going to be throwing everything they got at us. Like, our away games, Iowa State, they're going to wear the all black. That's going to be, honestly, if if we didn't go to our senior night game, I would want to go to that one. Honestly. I think that'd be the funnest game to go to away this year. That we have on our schedule. Yeah, it'd be awesome to go up there. Yeah. How far is Iowa State? Shoot. He said shoot. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You know me, though. I could do it in a day. He said I could do it in a day. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have to get some cheap ass seats. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of Starbucks on the way, too, baby. Oh, man. Yeah. A lot of Starbucks. A lot of extra extra shots of espresso. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm so confident with my driving. I, I can do it, baby. <laughs> I ain't got a clue where it is, bro. <laughs> okay. I know it's just I, I know of. I know it's in Ames, Iowa. I know, but like, how many states over is Iowa? You got Oklahoma. One, two. Nebraska. I think you can get there in four. Four states? Four? That's a lot. Shit. So they're like higher up than Missouri is? Well, there's four states including us, depending on the route you go. Oh, I got a map right in front of me. Oklahoma, Kansas, then Iowa. It's right on top of Missouri. What's the town called? Ames. A I M E S. I can't find that town because it's only showing their biggest cities. But I, I see how far it is, and like, my God, it's damn near going to Chicago, or Michigan, or Wisconsin. Damn near. That's a, it's a full trip. We'd be. It honestly would probably be cheaper taking a plane. <laughs> But I really don't like planes all that much. Not a, not a plane person. What about you, Gat? You like planes? Man, you can Lincoln, Nebraska is right there by Ames, Iowa. Cedar Rapids, right down the road. Sioux Falls. Take the kayaks with us. Wow. Do a route. Yeah, man. Yeah, most definitely. We would have to have like three or four days off of that one. Yeah. Shoot, we had to, if we could get a month off, bro, we could probably shoot down to Louisiana. <laughs> he said a month. Fuck that water bill. <laughs> 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 I 
Punches like I do. Really? Yeah. She oh, that's not. I mean, that's good for daddy, but that's not good for her classmate. <laughs> yeah, she is hard, and she's that's... a sweet one. She's a nice one. Jaden's the fucking asshole, dude. Jaden's mean. I'm always having to get on to him for being mean to his sister. Yeah. But I thought it was funny that that she's already growing taller than him. And, she gets a little better than he does. <laughs> Future of Fire University of Texas, hopefully. That'd be awesome for one of our kids to go to Texas. Hard school to get into, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, well worth it though. Oh yeah, definitely well worth it. I definitely say it's one of our more slower, mellowed out videos we've had. I've been honestly really tired. I woke up late today. I had to wake up at 5 o'clock so I could have Aiden to work by 6. You went in and stayed up. All my second day off in, in 13 days. Yeah. I gotta pick her up at two. What time is it? I don't know. Eleven fifty. Huh? Eleven fifty. Eleven fifty. Yeah. I guess we'll wrap this up in the next like five minutes. Then. Yeah, y'all hit that like button, by the way, if y'all are still watching. Remember, a thousand subscribers, one of you can win Jacoby Jones' glove, and that's legit, man. I mean, that's game day sweats, game day blood. That's something you want. Maybe not during COVID, but you can always frame it up on your wall, you know. <laughs> Absolutely, man. It's 100% authentic. Yeah. Oh, that was the funny, funniest thing, man, when Jacoby looked up at me and he was like, it's got blood on it, and we're like, we don't care. Get that motherfucker up here. We'll take it. <laughs> like, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. My next son's gonna have Jacoby Jones DNA. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have a lab in 2030. Have us a super, super uh, defensive back. I mean, defensive uh, tackle. I don't know why I said that. I'm tired. That's why it's what, it feels like nap time, and I just woke up. Like, <laughs> like oh, they're slurring words and stuff. Like, God. Uh, and I got that lazy ass in there fucking sleeping. That fucker. I'll be paying rent. Better be paying rent, buddy. <laughs> Gotta pay for the tickets first. <laughs> Ten four. Well, anything else you want to talk about? 
Oh, man. Ugh. No. Not really. I'm tired, man. I'm telling you. Had a long two weeks. I really want to. I really want a hot tub, but I don't have one. Don't want to get arrested for sneaking into the motels. Yeah. Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, well, man, I guess we're going to get off of here. I uh, probably won't uh, stream this video till later on the night. Maybe if not till tomorrow. Uh, I'm trying to get Bobby to do one with us tonight. Maybe a short little one. He'll have to wake up. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Y'all yeah, help us get to a thousand subscribers, man. We're, we're really trying to put our work in, and this is this is what we want to do. So, uh, got anything you want to tell them before you get out of here, Gant? Hey, hit that like and subscribe button, y'all. 40 Acre Addicts. Out. Welcome. All right. Welcome.